Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So excuse the noise in the background, but I just had to get this out there. This is going to be a voiceover tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoy that. I just want to hurry up and make this intro really quick and straight to the point. This is a look I created on my Facebook Live. By the way, follow me on my Facebook page because I do go live there and create makeup looks. So you don't want to miss that if you like what I do. It will be listed down below once again. Um, I created this look on Facebook Live using the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe and I got tons and tons of requests to recreate it for my YouTube channel as well as you did see it if you watched my lip plumping tutorial. I did have this look in that video so today I decided to just sit down and recreate it and just kind of twist it up a little bit. I did change the lip as well as the highlight that I use and some face products I did change up from my live video so again I'm gonna keep this short and simple stop talking this is the look I created I hope you guys enjoy it if you do please give me a big thumbs up I'd really appreciate it do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one besos nothing new here I'm taking the Glamouflage concealer and I'm using this as my eyeshadow base um, I will have all the products listed down below like I always do, all the colors and everything like that. But I'm using this all over my lid and just spreading it out with a flat eyeshadow brush. Then I'm taking this contour and blush palette from BH Cosmetics and going into this skin tone color here in the middle. And I'm using that to actually set the eyeshadow base and it's going to help my eyeshadows blend more easily. Now taking the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, I do not have the paper with the shadow names in front of me, but I will have the names listed on the screen for you. But I took this mustard color first on a BH Cosmetics blending brush, and I'm just putting this in the crease. I was kind of disappointed in this color only because I was expecting more of a yellow mustard color, and as you can see, it looks more brown once you build it up. But I'm just continuing to blend this color and build it up. Then I took this next shade, which is a little bit more of a orangey red color, which I'll have the name here once again. But I'm taking this right on top of that mustard color and just going back and forth, building up the depth in my crease. And just going back in using windshield wiper motions to really blend that in. Using the same brush, I like to just, you know, keep it very simple and use the brush as much as I can. So I just dipped into this red color here. It's like a red-brown color, almost like a brick tone. And I'm just taking this, and again, I'm starting on the outer corner and blending it towards the inner corner. Just really buffing out that color and really making it look nice and diffused. So again, just going back in, windshield wiper motions right in that crease till I'm satisfied with the blend that I achieved. Really simple enough, I just blended the heck out of that and now I'm going back in with the Glamouflage Concealer and I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush and this is going to help me carve out my crease. Now you guys know I have a lot of lid space so I'm just going to carve my entire lid space with this concealer and prep it for the actual glitter that I will be applying afterwards. I did not set the concealer because I'm actually going to go in with this NYX Glitter Primer. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply this exactly on top of where I applied that concealer. And I'm going to use this glitter that I got for a dollar. It is cosmetic grade. I will have a link down below for you guys. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I think it's such a gorgeous like fall shade. It's like an orangey um, tone color but it has a lot of flux of different colors depending on which way the light hits it. And I absolutely love it. But... Like I said, I'm going to apply the NYX Glitter Glue all over that concealer and then I'm going to go right in with the glitter right on top and just firmly pack it on the lid. And some people do not like the glitter glue from NYX, but I do. I think it works perfectly and it's super cheap and a great alternative to the Too Faced Glitter Primer, which I also use, but I think this is a great alternative. I'm taking this color on a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm applying this to the high points of my brow. This is going to act as my brow highlight. And then I'm taking the blending brush that I used prior just to make sure there's no harsh lines there and making sure everything is nicely well blended. Going in with some mascara, applying a few coats of that and I did apply my lashes off camera. I do apologize for that. 
for my lower lash line i'm taking this maybelline color tattoo this is like a green emerald green color and then i'm taking the sleek cosmetics colorful eyeshadow palette and i'm taking one of the greens in the palette and i'm applying it right on top of that color tattoo from maybelline and this is just really going to make that green really pop as you can see it looks really vibrant and bold my favorite thing ever so that is what i'm doing here then for eyeliner i'm taking the Too faced bulletproof eyeliner and I'm just using that on the waterline and for my face I took Benefit's Professional and this Rimmel Good to Glow Liquid Illuminator. I'm applying this highlight before my foundation because it's really going to give my skin a nice glowy look and I'm using this Kabuki brush which I will be using for my foundation as well and for my foundation I'm going to be using this Lancome foundation which is pretty nice the formula is really really good for my oily skin when I purchase it again no because of its price but nonetheless it is a really nice foundation for my concealer I'm using this L'Oreal crayon concealer it is a really nice creamy consistency which is why I decided to go for it today I haven't used it in a while and I decided to just also give it a try because it's just been sitting in my drawer but I decided to use this and I'm blending it in with the same kabuki brush. So as you can see, it's blending in really easy and nicely. So that means it's really creamy. I love it. And to set it, I'm using the cream banana shade that I used to set my eyeshadow primer with. I'm using this to set underneath my eyes. And I'm also taking that brown contouring shade to bronze and contour my face. Really something quick and simple just to bring a little bit of color to my face. I am now taking this Makeup Revolution blush palette and I think this is Sugar and Spice. I'll have it linked down below the name. Um, and I just took like that nice peachy coral pink color blush and I'm just adding a fair good amount that way it just shows up on my pictures and everything like that. And I'm going to take a big Real Techniques powder brush and I'm just going to make sure everything is blended nicely and together before I apply my highlight. And before my highlight, you guys know that I use my glycerin setting spray, so I'm just putting some on my face. And then I'm going to go ahead and highlight my face. I am taking this LA Girl Strobe Light Highlight, and I'm going to use this to highlight my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And as you can see, whew, it's time for glazed donut time. Look at that glow. I love it. Beautiful. So for my lips, I'm going to be taking a darker lip liner, and this is from Jordana, and I'm going to pair it with a very light nude lipstick from Essence, and I'll have them listed down below. And what I did was just outline my lips with the lip liner and then take the lipstick and just kind of apply it and just kind of smudge my lips together to just create like the perfect nude in my opinion. And I absolutely love the way it turned out. But... This is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry I was kind of talking kind of low throughout the whole video, but I had to be quiet. Mommy duties, you know, I have to be a mom also. But this is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.